Hey everyone, it's Tiffany from Let's Get Scrappy and have another project to share with you today. This is a Valentine's folio using Authentique's, I think it's Beloved Collection, Beloved, Beloved, I don't know, one of those. But um, this is, let me see, I've shown this style before. It is five and a quarter by seven. And if I remember, I will put it in the description box, but it is not my project. I use Kathy Clemens' um, tutorial that she has on her channel. So I'll try to remember to post that below. So here is the front. And I really liked it for this little um, kind of anchor sailor look. I thought that was cute. So I really kept this book really simple. I didn't have any cut aparts, any stickers, chipboard, any, anything like that. So, um, well, I did have the three by four cut aparts, but I didn't have anything else. So on the front, just added a black doily. I have a little tag here, just like that. And then this opens up where you can add three by four photos. And then here is the back. And then I just love this ribbon, it's so pretty, had to use it. So we kind of have a little Valentine nautical theme going on here. So here is the inside. And in this pocket, I just made a photo mat, which you can only really use one side. I added the three by four cut apart to here punched out with my Martha Stewart heart punch, added that as a tab, that is the back, and then I just all added some solid cardstock um, just to break up all the prints, because um, I did only, I wanna say I had with this in the 12 by 12, I only had like four of the design sheets, maybe it was three. So you can do a four by four, four by six photo here, and then you could do one here, and this opens up. Again, this is just a really quick, fun project. So I did add these, which is a little different from the tutorial. And it does have a magnetic closure and then just added some solid cardstock. But I just thought that was a, a cute little layout. And I did add the heart um, that I punched out with the Martha Stewart punch right there. And then I did the same over here with the heart punch. I just kind of trimmed that to somewhat fit around her arm, but I just wanted to add a little bit of glitter in there. And then this opens up and just mirrors this side here. So I have another pull out. And you can make this into like a booklet if you want to, so you can add more photos. But it is just solid on the back. And then I did add some of the little heart stickers that I have throughout the book there. So yeah, that is it. It's just a really quick folio to put together. I think she calls it her 45 minute folio, maybe something like that. Um, but it's really fast project, cute collection. If you have this older collection, I'm not sure if you could still find it, but I did have some scraps left over. So of course I had to try to use them up, which I didn't use everything. I came close and I made some cards. These are just a really simple card. I didn't even do anything to the inside. Literally just used whatever scraps I had. I did add some enamel dots on all of them. Just a few different things from my stash layered up. So there's that one. Then you have this one here. Some Winka Stella, but just really simple. I'm always trying to figure out ways to use up the scraps, which is really hard. I don't know why it's so difficult, <laughs> but I always still have, like I have enough where I can make a few different tags left over. So of course, you know, I had to do my little glossy accents on the eyes. Okay, this is so funny because did they really wear their hair like that back then with two bows? I mean, a bow on the bangs and a bow in the back. I don't know why I noticed that. It's cute, of course. I just, I think I never really noticed that bow, but I just thought it was funny that she had two bows in her hair. 
But there you go. Hopefully you guys liked it. If so, um, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. So that way you can see future projects. Thanks for watching. Bye.